Good morning, everyone. What a great crowd and a great day. Welcome to the grand opening of Harvest Market. I'm Chris Neiman, Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of Neiman Foods. I'm also one of nearly 2,000 associate owners of Neiman Foods. And we're really excited to show you all the great food we have to offer Champaign-Urbana. And because of that, we're going to be very brief here today. I'd like to introduce my brother Rich, who is ex uh, C President and CEO of Neiman Foods. Rich? Good morning. What a great day. The first thing that I would like to do is just acknowledge and thank all the folks uh, from the Champaign-Urbana community that have been just so very helpful to us in this endeavor and also in the things that we've done in the past. We, we so much appreciate everything they've done. And with that, I'd like the mayor to come up and just have a few remarks for us. Boy. So um, first, thank you for being a partner with us. You've been a partner with us in other locations, and you have really helped with development and redevelopment in our city. We appreciate that you are committed to our community. This is an incredibly unique store, and we are so excited to have it here, as evidenced by, oh my gosh, all the people <laughs> who are here. I do a lot of ribbon cuttings. This is the best crowd I've ever seen. So thank you all for being here to celebrate. <laughs> and uh, thank you really for, for Neiman Foods and you know your other brand is County Market. And I will call that out because you are located here, and we really appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you, Deb. We're so happy that this day has finally come. Um, we have a wonderful team that has put this, uh, I'll call it a store for a moment together, but there's an NFI team that has worked tirelessly for actually a number of years, and also the store team is just incredible. Too many folks to mention, um, but it, it's been just an incredible process that we've gone through. I was telling some folks earlier today that this process that we've been through has given us a whole new view of the entire food industry, and you'll you'll see that when you come inside. I want to say uh, just a couple of people that I that I want to talk about, uh, even though I can't mention everyone. But uh, Ron Cook uh, has been real key to this uh, to this project, one of the leadership team, and also uh, Jim Cox, who is uh, has just done an incredible job with this whole project, and the rest of the NFI team, then of course the Harvest Market team that's in the store today. I'm so proud of them, and you'll see when you go inside. But this is really a lot more than a store. This is really a mission for us. Uh, our mission is to connect our producers and our makers with our customers. And um, we want to provide, as you will see in the store, outstanding food. It's good food, it tastes good, it's good for you. But there's also a transparency here in what we're doing because information is so important as to how we eat today. And, uh, and I think we've, we've done that. There are so, too many really cool things to describe before you get in and see the store, but there's going to be a number of us that will be uh, walking around and be able to explain some things to you. What I'd like to do now is I want to play for you something that uh, has inspired us when we started on this mission almost four years ago. This is, you, some of you may recognize this, but this is uh, an audio from uh, something that Paul Harvey did uh, quite a few years ago. So let's listen just for a second. Interesting. And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a newborn colt and watch it die and dry his eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can shape an axe handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay wire, feed sacks, and shoe scraps. 
Though planting time and harvest season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, and then pain him from tractor back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales, yet gentle enough to yean lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink-combed pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to split the broken leg of a meadow lark. So God made a farmer. It had to be somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing. Who would laugh, and then sigh, and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says that he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made a farmer. It's kind of hard for me not to get emotional with that because I'm also a farmer. But that's what has inspired us for the last three and a half years. So our way of cutting the ribbon is a little bit different. So guys, start your motors. Welcome to Harvest Market and Farmhouse. <laughs> 